Hi Hannibal Warriors, this is Mrs. Inzalaco here with my daughter Josephine and today we're going to celebrate Pi Day with you. Now Pi Day was a while ago, it was March 14th, but I don't know about you but I had a crazy March so far so I'm going to celebrate it a little yeah. bit late. Now Pi Day is celebrated on March 14th because the, the number Pi is approximately 3.14. Now what's cool about Pi is the ancient Egyptians and Babylonians discovered this when they were creating their structures. And when they were creating their structures, their round structures, they kept noticing that when they took the base of a circle and they measured the outside, which is the circumference, and divided that by the measurement straight across, which is called its diameter, that they kept getting the same number, and that was Pi. So I found some objects in my house that have circular bases, and I'm gonna try and do the same calculation and see what I get. So I'm using here a flexible tape measure. If you don't have this, you could always use a piece of yarn or string and then compare it to a ruler or a tape measure. So I'm gonna start here with salt, which has a circular base. Now when I measure around the base, I'm gonna use, or when I measure around the outside, which is its circumference, I'm going to use centimeters because I find that is a little bit more precise. Now when I measure this, I get approximately 27.1 centimeters. Now I'm going to measure straight across the middle. When I do that, I get about 8.5 centimeters. Now when I take my handy dandy calculator and I divide that out, 27.1 divided by 8.5 I get approximately 3.18. So not quite pi, but pretty close. Let's try another object. Josephine, can you hand me the toilet paper? No, you're peeling your crayon? Okay. Josephine's working on her assisting skills. All right, here's some toilet paper, which I hope we all stocked up on during this um, situation that we're in right now. So again, I'm gonna measure the circumference around the outside. And when I do that, I get approximately 38 centimeters, okay? That's quite a bit bigger than the salt that I measured before. Now I'm gonna measure the diameter, and I get approximately 11.8 centimeters. Now when I divide that out, I get 3.22 centimeters. Again, not quite pi, but pretty close. Now some of the discrepancies in my measurements could come from the fact that this isn't a super precise measurement tool. And the objects that I'm picking might not be precisely round either. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna measure is a big pot. Josephine, can I, can I get that pot over there? All right, so again, I'm gonna measure around the circumference, around the outside. And when I do that, I get approximately 76 centimeters. Now, when I measure its diameter, I get approximately 23 centimeters. And when I divide that out, I get approximately 3.30 centimeters. So, pretty close again. Now, notice all of my measurements did result in a quotient that started with the number three. So here's my challenge for you, warriors. My challenge for you is to find some household objects that have round bases. Yeah. Measure them just like I did. And in the comment to this Facebook post, I want you to show your measurements and then what you got as your answer. The warrior who gets the closest quotient to 3.14, I'll email you a bag. All right, warriors. Well, you have stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you soon. And from Josephine and I, we both say, bye, warriors.